Today I'm making what I like to call my jammy tomato chickpeas. This recipe can be adapted to whatever's in your pantry. The only staples that you need are some form of canned tomato, crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, tomato sauce, then you really do need chickpeas for this. But if you don't have any chickpeas, you can use cannellini beans. I've tried it. They just tend to mush more than chickpeas. Chickpeas are more sturdy than the cannellini beans and I just prefer it because it gives the dish some texture. Other essentials, salt and pepper. I really hope you have salt and pepper in your house. If you don't have salt or pepper or you ran out, use a little bit of lemon juice in the tomato sauce. Another thing I'm using is balsamic vinegar. I'm also using olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, use vegetable oil, avocado oil, canola oil, anything but coconut oil. I'm topping this with Parmesan cheese. If you don't have Parmesan, no problem, skip it. It's gonna be really good even without it. And then I'm using garlic. My husband stocked up on pandemic garlic, which is the pre-minced stored in citric acid kind, which I really don't love, but I'm using it just in the spirit of non-perishable foods. You're also gonna need some greens. I hope you guys like this dish, let's make it, let's go. We're gonna go to the stove. If you are mincing your own garlic, then this is the time to do that. I'm going to season my skillet with some olive oil and turn the heat up to medium high. There's, if you're using the fake garlic, stand back. Cause it will freaking splatter on you. So I'm just going to saute these on medium heat for a few minutes. I want them to crisp a little bit. Keep that going until all of them get a little golden brown. Let's add our tomatoes. You see that's about a third of a cup. Might as well. You're gonna know that they are done when the tomato sauce stops being a sauce and it instead is sticking to the chickpeas as you move it around. It's not gonna coat the pan, it's fully coating the chickpeas. And that's why I call it jammy. It's like a tomato jam right on these chickpeas and it tastes so good. I'm gonna remove them from the heat and we're gonna plate with some greens. I have some pre-torn apart and washed mustard greens. Don't need to dress these up. Even with kale, you really don't need to dress it up a lot. I just add olive oil and a hint of salt. Take about a generous handful and drizzle some olive oil on top. You really don't need much, a pinch of salt. You also can do it in the larger salad bowl, but I really don't feel like dirtying anything else right now. Why not? Here she is. I'm gonna try this out. Oh, yum. Mm. I love the good crunchy greens with that alkaline olive oil. Then you got the acidic sweet tomato jam. Mm. Have fun with this recipe. If you want more, you can head to my website. It's withskylar.com. I have a lot of recipes on there that are great for this situation. And also, you can follow me on Instagram, Dining with Skylar and Skylar Bouchard. I got two accounts, you know, because I got two personalities. I'm a little cray cray. Oh, yeah. But enjoy this dish. I'll see you later. Mwah.